are at um, Windstone's Hunua, I had to pronounce that right, uh, Operation Day. We're looking at their Komatsu fleet and their Komatsu Smart Quarry technology, which they're using. So it's really, it's the first operation in New Zealand to use the Komatsu Smart Quarry technology. So we're here today with Windstones and Komatsu New Zealand to tour around. So a big thank you to them for having us, but stay tuned. It's gonna be really cool to have a peek inside one of the larger quarries on the island, on the North Island at least, so. That's it, turning big rocks like this into little rocks here in New Zealand. So this is the dashboard of SQS, which is Smart Quarry Site. This is Windstone's Hunua. So this is Simon Hill Pit. This is the main lay down where all the product is processed and, and sits. But Smart Quarry Site goes on the production fleet. So you've got your 1250 and then the 785s hauling. This is obviously sped up for demonstration purposes. They do not drive this fast here in New Zealand on mine sites. But any data that comes off the truck, such as fuel burn, load counts, payload, Anything like that that can help Windstones as an operation operate better as a business. Kamatsu Smart Quarry collects and then relays back to this hub. So you've got a tally of all your equipment or plant here, and then a live kind of a live feed, which can be summed up at the end of the day and shows all the, uh, the data. But so in each machine, they have a little tablet, which gives them the ability to select, depending on what product they're hauling, to dump in each grade or each product because there's a variety of products they produce here so the operator can come in on a 785 come out to your truck pick which stockpile he's going to dump in and then that'll actually give an accurate record back to this database of how much material has been added over the course of the day to that stockpile so it's a telematics and production software that allows windstones to get an oversight of what their haulage fleet and production fleet is doing on a daily basis which in mining Everyone's got a different opinion of what's going to work better and what's better and how should we mine and whatnot, but really data-driven data decisions are the best way to, to operate as a mining company and that's what Windstones has done. This is the weighing station. So all the trucks that come in get weighed, and then once they get loaded, they go through a little wash bay there, so they're clean when they go on the roads, and then they get weighed on the way out to see the amount of product they're taking from the site, so the site can track it. But on a busy day, which is most days here at Panua, one truck will go in and out of there every 37 seconds. So they do about two and a half to three million tons per year out of this quarry. So. Every 37 seconds, the truck is going across that scale. at the primary crusher here. It's a primary jaw crusher. Hanua runs a stockpile feed because they found it's better to run their crusher at 80% full rather than have trucks dumping it so it's either over full or empty. So they've got a WA600 feeding it. That machine's equipped with smart quarry. So the advantage of having that technology on that loader is one, there's an operation they get production summary every day. So how many tons moved, cycle times, fuel burn, any fault codes, so a bit of a telematics aspect. Additionally, from a safety standpoint, in his screen, he'll know when a truck, so a HD785 is coming into his work area to dump. So he can always be aware of what trucks are coming into his work area. So there's a bit of a safety factor built in as well, but this is where rocks like this get turned into one of 43 different products they produce here at Hunua, so. And the WA600 feeds it in right behind us. These are uh, the, the stairs on the 785s here at Windstones. 
They're hydraulically powered, but it's just a safe way to access and egress the machine without having to climb up the front and potential tripping and slipping, especially when it gets wet, so rain. Uh, they don't really get ice and stuff here, but pretty convenient. So we're here in the cab of the 785 with Steven. He's going to tell us about the Komatsu Smart Quarry that's set up on the haul truck. So the loader is going to be either that um, dig over there that you first fill him. So if we press uh, that one there, that's that digger. Mm -hmm. He will load us. Uh, he will load us with the material that we click on, like that one, and say we're picking one of the levels inside the quarry RL90, which we are doing now, and we pick rock. So we're picking rock there. The system will put everything to the office. Where, where did you get it from? Who was loading you? And where is the destination? And how much? There's the tonnage. So we can load, uh, um, say, 100 ton. So over here in the corner, we have the operator messages. They can send us messages. So you click on the message. Pre starts. Pre starts is when we start the vehicle up just before that. We go around the vehicle and see everything is all right. Mm -hmm. uh, if there's any faults, you can record it and it's everything recorded on this. Say for instance you need to stop for a fueling. You press fueling and the system will show you the fueling and it will tell the boss in the office, right, that vehicle's not working now, it's fueling. Mm -hmm. So everything is ready for the user just to click and use and go. Yeah. Easy to learn? Easy to learn. It's, it's, it's all like you see on the pad. Outstanding. And it just makes it so much easier. No paperwork. Uh -huh. SQS for short, but the CAT 775Gs also have it equipped because you'll find a lot of quarries they have a kind of a mix match of equipment. It's not all Komatsu, it's not all Caterpillar, they run different brands of equipment. So the Komatsu Smart Quarry can be fitted on other brands of equipment such as the CAT 775G, as we'll see in a second. This is also another example. So the CAT 775s have Komatsu Smart Quarry. The 395 is also going to get Komatsu Smart Quarry. It's not fitted with it yet. But again, it just goes to show how that technology can be placed onto any brand of equipment. bucket, rock bucket, spec accordingly, extra wear parts, side cutters. Wow, beautiful machine. One really neat thing about these, so it's a quarry machine, so it's a bit of an aero pad, leaf holes, but these little lights here, these little, these are green lights that actually flash, so when the truck is being spotted in, 
or the truck is full, these will actually flash and the truck can see that in their mirror. So there's no horns used here in the quarry because of the proximity to the residential area. So they actually use light signals. So a little green flashing light inside the machine indicate to the truck driver that it's full. And again, you've got a typical kind of New Zealand, Australian outfit. Reflective stakes, full, large catwalks, ladder. I mean, let's take a walk, walk up on this thing. Right from ground level. Easy as. Tons of room up top. The best part about this machine, and this goes out to Ryan Neal of Caterpillar, is this is a non-tier 4 395. So everything in Canada is tier 4. But this thing sounds as it should. Unrestricted. No emissions. How a 395 should be, Ryan. Take note. The New Zealanders know how to do it. So roughly out of here each day they'll pull about 13,000 ton to feed the primary crusher. So this is kind of a mixture, this is a bit of brown rock but there's blue rock which is the blue gray, gray wacky they mine here right below this. So this is the prime stuff that's used in construction all over New Zealand. Every, everyone who builds something whether it's bridges, roads, you know, schools, uh, foundations for a home uses the blue rock. It's such a high quality. That's it. Turn in big rocks like this into little rocks here in New Zealand. That's a five minute blast warning. We're here with Red Bull Powder Company. I'm not sure who was first, Red Bull Powder Company or Red Bull the energy drink. Anyway, we're here with Red Bull Powder Company. They're doing a 30,000 ton blast here at Hanua. They're using nine ton of emulsion. And they use Austin debt cap detonation to set it off. This is where the rock begins its journey, right here in the quarry. Blasted, hauled, crushed, sized to different products, ends up anywhere all over the North Island. Six, five, four, three, two, one, fire now. PC1250 at the new, it's down for a bit of maintenance today. Uh, it's the Dash 11 and it's running the Komatsu Smart Quarry setup. So it talks with the haul trucks and also talks with that dashboard we looked at earlier today. Uh, but we'll go up inside the cab and have a look at the SQS. I dare, I dare not put my work boots in here because... Uh, you're on. These are, um, get a close up of that, these are some of the cleanest cabs I've ever seen. They've got carpet in here, look at that. It's a good example of what you get when you get the Komatsu Smart Quarry. So each machine that's equipped with it, so haul trucks, that WA600 and this 1250 has a screen in the cab. So this communicates back to that dashboard and relays all the production information, telematics and things like that. So, so interest enough, this bucket's actually built by Jaws, which is an Australian manufacturer. In Canada, we have manufacturers like WBM, CWS, Bradkin, but this is what you see a lot of over here in New Zealand because it's an Australian. They're just doing some addition of some more wear parts. So these are heel shrouds. We've got some teeth that are getting replaced, a couple side cutters, a couple wear parts. So that's why the 1250 is down today for maintenance, inconveniently, inconveniently when we visit, but. Nevertheless, we got up close with it to check it out. So, since it's a super production machine, it's a little bit bigger of a bucket or spade, as we call them in Canada. So, big thank you to Windstones and everyone who helped have us out, and a big thank you to Komatsu New Zealand for being here as well. They graciously took us around, toured us around. We saw everything from the crusher to the quarry to a blast. So, again, big thank you for having us out. I'll link their website below and their social if you want to check them out and learn more about Hanua. So, thank you again.